beginning of my journey with photography, I've always been driven by who the woman in my image is. Dreaming has been a huge part of my world from a very young age. Head in the clouds, unrealistic, quietly observing the world around me and taking mental notes. I've always been inspired by so many women. A singer, an actress, an artist, a writer, an activist, a painter, a sculptor. Many of my ideas come from these women, both real and imagined, friends and strangers. The face on the silver screen or the words she has written on a page. As I embark on this creative journey with Pirelli, I intend to show the muses in a world that sings to their talent and spirit with magical realism. The intention is to inspire the viewer to open their mind and dream with them. find the top sheet for the photographer because I think it's good to start with her. There she is. Okay. So yes, it started with the photographer because I guess that's what I am, right? It always starts with yourself. The reason that it became about these powerful, inspiring women and wanting to show that had something to do with being one of the few women to shoot the Pirelli calendar. I think also work closely with women in creating it. There's total communication, total openness, um, and an involvement with the clothes in a really lovely way, not in a dismissive way. You know, it's Emma's vision that I'm just feel like I'm helping her put together in a way that we can work. So I never feel like it's my picture completely or that I own the image because it's so many different people's energy that goes into it. My name's Amanda Harlick, and my role on this incredible shoot for the Pirelli 2023 calendar is costume director. I think that's right. My name is Vicky Rutsch, and I am the set designer for the 2023 Pirelli calendar. Amazing, right? And the color shift is nice. My first yeah. muse, I guess, for the calendar that kicked off the whole idea was thinking about how I would photograph Guinevere as the photographer. Emma was really specific. So she gave me the only brief, which was a big cape, black hat, and a pair of black stilettos. Guinevere is strong, it's just literally which, which cape. She's on a black set though, and it could make that whole image just a little predictable. It could just make her world a little weird. She has an owl, has an owl. on top of the mirror and the forest that's in Bella's set is reflected in the mirror. Oh, God, this is so good. It's like mm -hmm. worlds enfolding. Yeah. Yes. As, as poetry is part of music and music is part of painting and painting is part of being a body activist and... Yeah. I think feminine power is the way we should be thinking rather wow. than a linear thing. We should be have that bigger vision, that. which I associate with a feminine point of view. It's all one thing, you know, they all kind of lead and weave into each other, so. We could put that on Guinevere and have it thrown over her shoulder. I think when you see Guinevere's set, get a sense if that w w would work. All of a sudden, I just felt like a pop of colour could be amazing. I like that strong one. Dream experience, especially when you work with a team like this, because you just walk on set and everyone just makes you into this magical thing. I wanted her to be holding her camera 
taking a self-portrait in a mirror, having a animal there to represent the watcher, some sort of innocent spirit watching over the process. It was humbling and sacred when she stroked the owl, Lucius. I know that Guinevere is comfortable with nudity and does self-portraits. We had a conversation about nudity. There's almost like this assumption that in nudity, there isn't a choice. It's like the woman hasn't chosen it. I used to do self-portraits that were pretty much nude. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's our body. We can do what we want with it. I think what's important is that women get to embrace who they are and get the freedom and autonomy over their own bodies. I could do whatever it is that I wanted to do. And to just be able to feel free and to do whatever you want. I just want to exist in my body. I can look in the mirror now and be proud of what I see. I love the idea that there is this celebration. There's something incredibly joyous. It's about beauty, actually. having a bit of a think before I dive in if there's a twist or if it needs a twist. Well, the raven. The raven will be a twist. It's a very big twist. Come on. <laughs> I don't want to picture it to feel like documentary. I'm not trying to tell the truth. I'm trying to make what's inside my head exist outside. See those surreal wow moments where your imagination come to life and then frozen in a photo. My job is about discovery, being creative, and also being really instinctive. I love working with girls and kind of really changing their perspective on themselves. My name is Eugene Suleiman. Uh, my role in the Pirelli calendar is I am the hairdresser. I definitely felt transformed like I had never been before. Beautiful set, beautiful clothing. It's like wonderful and dreamy. The experience today, it was wonderland. Magical was, would be the word. My name is Hirami Ueda. I'm in charge of makeup design to create individual character. I think this is an amazing part of our industry, like a photographer or stylist coming up with idea and explain to us, you know, just giving some idea to them to create some characters, which is quite dream, uh, which is so magical. You know, Emma had the idea that all models were also doing something else in their life. She wanted to make sort of sense of the world that we created for them so that it could somehow be associated with what they do. I think it's exciting for once to go back to, to models and, uh, and see them in a different perspective. I love to show a different part of myself that is more, I guess you can say, expressive and creative and not just the model side. And it felt really cool to like merge those two. I do not divide my life at all between modeling and painting. It's like all comes together in nature. Interested in kind of this world of fashion and beauty, but also always a nerd at heart. My music is my metaphysical practice and I love it. I love doing it. I can be everything that I want to be. I don't have to just be a model. I don't have to just show one side of myself. Hello. honored to be the writer more than anything in Emma's eyes. What I loved about writing was that, you know, I like being the artist and not the muse. You know, I mean, it's beautiful in black and white, but the yellow is and everything so nice. Yeah, it kind so of puts you in a place. It really feels like California sun. Yeah, yeah. And a bit 70s. Mm -hmm, exactly. 
It's really great. Do you want to try some of the things? Sure. Let's do it. Let's play. When I first started shooting for fashion magazines, there was a lot less female photographers and people would say, how does it feel to be a female photographer working at that level? And I was always like, I don't think about it. I didn't want to put my gender before my skill. But over time, I guess it's unavoidable that being a woman, my pictures are going to have a female perspective and the way I relate to the model is going to be different. And it's not better or worse, it's just different. I always imagined Bella be like a magical creature. Uh, the fairy queen for me means more so than, you know, a whimsical fairy trying to find her way, looking for her prince. I think she was more like, I run the show here. I've spent half my life kind of making myself smaller. And I think that when you realize your own power, that is the most beautiful that you look. I've grown to not only understand who I am, but also know what I like and, uh, and I'm attracted to. So I hope that I re represent uh, you know, a whole group of women. Sort of Venus-like, Aphrodite-like. No, it's just really wonderful. Hi! And a camera. I got stalked by the camera. <laughs> Wow. So there's that uh, children's story. It's called Owl and the Pussycat. I don't know why, but when we had the boards up, we started talking about that. And we were like laughing and like referencing how like, every set, like we have an owl and we have a pussycat. And like, we, you know, then we were like, oh, we don't have a boat, you know? And then we ended up putting uh, this gold moon not wet anymore. Inspiration was from a tarot card. Oh, and Lauren also that is gonna be holding a sword that actually belongs to my son. I've been an athlete my entire life. I played basketball, it was definitely my first love. And then, obviously, after losing my legs, I had to, you know, really dig deep and, and figure out myself from the ground up, inside out, and rebuild. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And I think part of being an athlete really helped me do that because I saw it as a challenge. Just being able to reintroduce a different side of beauty that's never been seen and to create a lane that's never been made and for people to see me and to see resilience and to see that, you know, just not allowing anything to stop you and to go after your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. Go for it. Don't ever let anybody tell you no. If a little dark-skinned South Sudanese girl who comes from really nothing can do it, so can you. He shot a dude on this set as the embodiment of poetry. She's had an amazing ascent through the fashion industry and she has an incredible story of where she comes from. Nothing is impossible and I think that if you dedicate yourself to whatever it is that you want to do and just never giving up, you never know. Tomorrow could be the day where you succeed. Yes, yes. Can maybe even take a float. You can, of course. There's some beautiful orchids, actually. A bit of a mix. A mix. Sounds good. Something you can think about us for the next few days. I think there's a real beautiful conversation that happens between women taking pictures of women because we all maybe share similar insecurities that we don't talk about, about the way we look or the way we're meant to look, the way we think we're meant to look, how we're meant to be, how we're meant to present ourselves. And when you can have a frank conversation with another woman about those things, you realize that you're not alone. I can't wait, my outfit is so cute. Confidence is so easy to talk about, but it is so hard to obtain. And I wish there was a magic pill that we could just literally hand out to everyone and say, here's your dose of confidence for the day, but it just doesn't work that way. Well, when I am vulnerable or weak, when I say weak, that's a bad thing because I always think and attest to mistakes or vulnerability is weakness, whether it's not, because those are the things that make me stronger. You can be recognized for being this super strong, powerful person, like, Strength and power is also vulnerability. So to gain confidence, um, you ha you really have to change how your outlook on 
what you're doing, doing, talking, and acting like for yourself. And that combination sometimes is really hard and super challenging, but if you can grasp it, you can have it. <laughs> you do, you have to be your own muse. When I first started to think about this uh, creative journey with Pirelli, I really wanted to show the women in a world that sings to their talents and spirit. There is also something magic in your photos. You are like a bridge between uh, real and meta. I think one of the key of your success. And so that's why I think uh, it fits perfectly with the calendar and with this time. It's always been a dream of mine to shoot Pirelli and, you know, for, for years and years I've been saying, how does this happen? How do I shoot Pirelli? And, and that happened. I found very attractive people viewing these photos to imagine what they want. Very good. Now let's see the camera. Are we seeing a reality or a dream? What's the difference? 